a new system in place to prevent issues rather than wait for you to be called to fix them. That's what I call demonstrating higher value and literally becoming the go-to expert of your expertise, which is exactly a personal brand. How to become top of mind and be so good they can't ignore you. A personal brand is what people say about you, how they think about you when you're not even in the room. I see my victory so clear. I see my victory so clear. It's a day we break through. It's a day we break through. It's a day we break through. It's a day. My question is, a lot of people listening to this were in the spot you were where they've been trying for months, weeks, years, and maybe they were so fed up, they stopped. And then they got re-inspired and started again. Like, oh, it's the same results. So do you have any advice from what you've done? Because you've been in the course now, I think three, four months. And obviously you guys have heard the results. I mean, I, if I scripted out what was going to happen and told you, you'd probably be like, yeah, you're full of crap. <laughs> but I mean, that's why I'm like, I need to have her tell it in her own words. Um, but yeah, what advice do you give if someone's looking to grow their brand and they've had those failures or maybe they are having a little success, but they know it could be better? Uh, what kind of suggestions would you give to someone looking to do that? I have learned very quickly, and even the past few weeks, that your growth is not a linear thing. So you're going to do stuff at first, especially for me, I did a lot of posts at first and I was a little scared because I knew that there was a lot of people who were coming from some of my pharmacy content. And I realized that yeah, I'm probably going to lose some people right off the bat because I'm switching my focus and that's okay because those aren't the people I want to speak to. That is not the audience that I want to go to. Yes. So if they're gone, they're gone and that's fine because they weren't there for the content I want to post anyway. And the other thing I have to say is you're not going to please everybody. It's just not going to happen. And I am a people pleaser, so that drove me crazy. Um, that's just how I am. And I've come to terms with the fact that if I am happy with the post, it's good. It's going to, you know, something you say is going to upset people, especially in the world today where everybody has an opinion and it's probably not always going to be the same as yours. So, you know, just post that thing out there that you think is important. You know, for me, I'm doing a lot of advocacy for women's health. And there's a lot of touchy subjects with that, but I need to post factual information. That is why I'm doing that. And so sometimes you have to do scary things. My top performing video on YouTube, I thought about not posting it about 20 to 25 times before I actually posted it. I even had it recorded and edited and had spent hours on it. And I still was like, should I post this? It's got like 6,000 views now and is my top performing video. I'm glad I did it, but it was scary because it was a little bit more controversial, but you know, you have to be able to put yourself out there in order to get those things to go through. And that doesn't mean you need to do a bunch of controversial posts. That's not what I'm saying, but it means if you're some, it's something you're passionate about, it is in your lane, then you sometimes have to do the scary thing and put it out there. Um, other pieces of advice is to just, do it. Not all of your posts are going to be great, especially at first. Um, but you got to put it out there because if you wait to put the perfect post out there, you're never going to post anything. <laughs> that is true. hundred um, percent. There's some posts that I'm like, this is not quite what I want, but it is five o'clock. And if I don't post this now, nobody's going to see it. So it's just going to go up. It is good enough, close enough. And sometimes they're the posts that perform the best for me, honestly. That's solid advice. And I agree. And <clears throat> That's something that I just still am befuddled by is I'll spend hours on a post that I think is so relevant and great and it'll get like crap engagement. And then I'll post something, like, I'll, I'll not even post it. I'll be like, this is kind of dumb. Eh, I'll post it anyway. And it just explodes, it goes viral. I'm like, what the? Yeah, it makes no logical sense as to why. But that's why you can't get too attached. You just have to stay consistent. Make sure that what you're posting is in your lane so that you're serving the people you're looking to serve and just Stick to the plan, work the plan. It doesn't mean don't change, don't pivot. You need to be relevant and have an ear to the ground of innovation so that you can not follow the trend, but set the trend based on being in touch with your audience. And that's why it's so important to know who that is. But yeah, I think that's solid advice. Anything else that you'd want to share uh, for people that are considering getting on that brand train? 
number one, just go out, you know, Nike, just do it. You know, that is um, one thing that, I mean, that's kind of what I did. I didn't know what I was doing. You don't have to know exactly what you're doing. Um, I wish I would have taken Adam's course earlier. So I would have known more of what I was doing in that beginning part because I spent a lot of time spinning my wheels, but you know, putting yourself out there, doing some content, try to be consistent. Um, I really think that that's the biggest thing, but, um, I, I think the biggest thing I got out of this was, you know, what do I want to teach people and why do I want to teach them that? And being clear on those two things is so incredibly important. And the course talks about exactly how to do that because I had tried that before and it just didn't, I wasn't doing it the right way. I wasn't going deep enough to figure out why I was doing those things. But once I figured that out, I mean, my page just exploded and I have been blown away by the number of times I've been able to help people now, because that's the other thing I've been able to do. I get these DMS and I'm able to help people when I wasn't able to help them before. So just get out there and do it. If you're not getting follows, if you're not getting likes right away, that doesn't mean you need to change all of your content. That means you need to be patient, be consistent, and keep doing those things because eventually you will get there and you're going to get better with every single post. Um, all of my videos, I feel like I try to do, you know, when I make a YouTube video, I want to do one thing better than I did my last video. So yes. whether I'm focusing on making my thumbnail better than last time or if I'm going to do more edits to my video to make it more engaging throughout, I try to do those things. Or, if I, you know, I tweak and change things with each post so that's totally okay but every one of those is an experiment to see do i like this type of content does my audience like this type of content is it something i can do for them so just doing those posts even if you're not you know 100 percent confident in it is worth it to do every single one of those i agree with everything you said spot on such a proud teacher <laughs> but in the same light i i've learned a lot watching your process and the things that I've seen, I've just, they're just so they're just reinforced because it works and it's really inspiring to see someone. And that's why I did this is I've met so many people in pharmacy that are genuine, that have, you know, the best intentions, but they don't have the strategy to take their passion and make the results and impact that they're looking for. And like, I was like, if I make this course and it helps just one person, it was worth it. And it helped. So everything I, yeah, there it is. So it was worth it. And uh, I'm just, uh, it's a privilege to see the success that you're working and, and getting and you deserve all that and more, my friend. It's just truly inspiring. So thank you for inspiring me. I appreciate everything you've done because it's just been so awesome. Like I said, I felt like I was just, you know, slowly growing, not really getting anywhere. But now I'm also more passionate about the content I'm creating because I'm back to what I actually love and what I want to do. And so I just appreciate you helping me find that passion again. It's my pleasure. And guys, when she says she gets more passionate about the content, go to her page and not just the post, but read the caption. You can feel that emotion. Like real talk. Go to her page and look at the caption, read it, and you'll be like, holy crap, this woman's passionate. Like, sh this is not a copy-paste job. Like, she, she's the real deal. And speaking of, where can people follow you? Uh, and the other thing that you didn't tell them is in this time, you also launched your website, which is another badass milestone. So tell them where they can connect with you. Tell them about the things you've got going on coming up soon. So uh, my website, I have some big things coming up. For that, this upcoming month, I'm actually over the next couple of weeks doing a little bit of a revamp on the website, um, and they're going to be able to see some new blog posts and some things that I really do a little bit deeper dive into a few things um, that kind of I feel like people have wanted to see, including helping you with your holiday shopping and some awesome, awesome small businesses and brands that are legit and have good quality products that I think people would really appreciate. So I wanted to make sure I would bring that to the table because it's stuff that people have asked me about. So doing some blog posts on that as, um, as well as just updating it because I'm doing a few speaking gigs coming up. So I'll be having posts on those where you can find those. Some of them are online and virtual open to everyone, their webinars. So I want you guys to be able to be able to see those. You can find me on, Instagram, we've talked about that a lot, and my YouTube, both of those are Happy Farm Life as well. 
and new i just started on tiktok oh um, so you can also find me at happy farm life on tiktok um i'm doing a few more of the funnier videos there but also the same women's health content that you guys uh, especially those who have followed me have really been enjoying on instagram so i wanted to bring that to tiktok as well yeah and yo so if y'all are on Instagram, you know that Reels has been taken off. This woman has pivoted and is creating fire content. Like, uh, I, I think I DM you, like, your video to yourself. And I was like, holy shit, this is awesome. But, yeah, it, it is crazy because at the, when we started this, you were talking about uh, the one you made. And you're like, oh, it's doing so well. It's got 6,000 views. I'm like, let me check. I'm like, oh, it's at the 6,500 now in, like, what, an hour? So... <laughs> I mean, like an hour, it was like an hour and I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you're just, you're doing the right, you're doing it the right way for the right reasons. And again, I've said this like 30 times, but I'm so freaking proud of you and so excited for your success because you deserve every single second, every single, every single thing you, you, you've earned it. So I just want to acknowledge you for the hard work that you're doing both in front of and behind the scenes, because it's helping a lot of people and it's bringing you really more fulfillment and passion, I think. Uh, for the work that you do, not just on social media, but more importantly as a pharmacist. And that's the whole reason I created the course. So thank you for sharing all that you did and your journey. Guys, definitely follow her, subscribe, all the stuff. All of her links will be in the show notes below so that you can connect with Happy Farm Life and go and see how she's scripting her brand in women's health. Guys, this is Dr. Adam Martin of the Fit Pharmacist Healthcare Podcast, signing off with the Sierra Richard of Happy Farm Life. Go forth, be great, dispense your full potential, and script your brand. I see my victory so clear. I see my victory so clear. It's a